Mitsuboshi Colors was one of my favorite anime from the winter season of 2018. The show contains an energy to its comedy that I rarely see. This comes down to one simple factor. Mitsuboshi Colors portrays pure childishness better than any anime that I've ever seen. Mitsuboshi Colors, being a slice of life comedy, tends to focus on the mischievous, fun and honest side kids have. These girls have little tact, which shows in interactions like when Yui talks about Kotoha's lack of gaming skill. Kids can be blunt and honest to a fault, and Mitsuboshi Colors doesn't hold back on highlighting it. They are also fickle and self-centered. Each time somebody says something that isn't directly related to the task or mission the Colors are working on, their tension wavers and they pull the conversation back to said task. And well, what's a kid without some vulgarity and disgusting behavior? Multiple points in the show center around poop, and Sat-chan does nasty things like spitting coins at people as well. Mitsubushi Colors showcases all the quirks, faults, and intricacies children possess. While these aspects of children can be annoying to deal with in real life, Mitsubushi Colors and the girls of colors themselves manage to make these annoyances very funny to watch. Alongside the comedy centered around the nature of children, Mitsubushi Colors wears the strong imagination of its protagonists and their divergent personalities on its sleeve. Each character has unique traits that influence how they approach every situation in the show. Kotoha's wit, intuition, and delusions of grandeur, Satchan's charm, bubbly attitude, and potty humor, and Yui's innocence, apprehensions, and lethal bluntness all make up different aspects or spectrums of childishness. When they all come together, they create a bubbling fountain springing with imagination and potential. This is the essence of Mitsuboshi Colors. The mere premise of the show is soaked in the girls' imaginative abilities. They believe that they are a force saving a town which is never in danger. They will take everyday tasks or activities and turn them into missions. They will have a toy prop and make it seem like a real explosive. The trio make a mere park guard a huge enemy and craft other personas for other members in the community. The way that these events and more are taken to the heights that they are, but make the viewer want to embrace their activities is the biggest factor in the success of Color's portrayal. However, as amusingly childish and entertaining as they are on their own, the girls' antics wouldn't have the same effect without having other people to bounce off of. The Colors trio will mess with random people at times to get something they want or in response to an action that person has done. The supporting characters in Mitsubishi Colors react in different ways to the girls' antics and this amplifies the comedic impact of the jokes. Some get confused and baffled and even comply to doing what the girls desire. Characters like Sachan's mom, Pops, and even Sato help enable and encourage the Colors' imaginative, mischievous behavior, whether intentionally or incidentally. Some of the show's best moments, like the giant zombie game in the park, stem off of everyone rolling with the punches. Without other townies being around for the girls' childish charm and energy to work against, the Colors trio would not feel nearly as energetic and fun to watch. Overall, Mitsubushi Colors has one of the best portrayals of what being a child is like. It displays a trio of girls who are allowed to use their personalities and flex their imaginations freely without overt repercussions. Along with that, they have a huge net of support, intentional or otherwise, allowing them to spread their wings and let their dreams and whims take root. They show many traits kids had growing up, lay a bear for an audience past that stage in life, and they feel all the more real for it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. If you want more videos like this, check out my video on Eurocamping Passion as well as my new game video. See you guys again soon. Peace.